I think what Montessori means to me fundamentally is, you know, a community of people that really care about both learning and enriching kind of the community and kind of the whole student. A lot of the creativeness and kind of, you know, outside the box thinking. I definitely felt that a lot. You know, I got to learn, you know, how to work with others, really, and that's something I use a lot today. I was probably a very hard student from like an educational standpoint because I was really dyslexic. They definitely go above and beyond, you know, trying to help you progress as much as they can. You know, we learned about math by building a birdhouse here, you know, one year when they, you know, they have a shop room. So now, um, me and a couple friends, we founded a company called Kodemoji. Uh, basically what it does is it creates curriculum mostly used by, you know, elementary schools to teach them computer science. So basically, specifically HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. So my Montessori education, you know, helped me kind of, you know, think about the startup differently in a couple ways. One, you know, we wanted to use an image-based approach, so that's something we looked at also, you know, we wanted to think about students that, you know, might have learning disabilities or so on. So we added a lot of text-to-speech and a lot of supporting functions. Ben was definitely one of the first people I came to with, you know, a prototype and asked to, you know, test with some students. And we really quickly saw that initially very early on is, you know, the need to build confidence. And so, you know, some of those initial testing really helped us kind of continue to grow. So what it means to me to be able to teach at Rogers Park kind of in an enrichment capacity, be able to give the students some you know different opportunities they're going to use robots to kind of understand you know if they make the robot go backwards forward or turn around three times it's going to do those actions there's also some events where they can clap and make the robot start and stop the students really like those because they can engage with the robots in kind of different ways so today the students are going to learn both those critical thinking skills but also they're going to have a lot of fun learn some you know computer science all at the same time so I mean to date you know we've been able to help about 400,000 students they've completed millions of lessons um, and now we're you know we have a couple full-time staff so financially we're we're doing all right and you know we continue to grow so you know I'm very happy with you know the path it's on <laughs>